Hello everybody and welcome back to Xbox Cracker Jack's commentary of Disney Infinity 3.0. I'm back with you as we continue on uh, through the Star Wars uh, campaign for the game. Yoda here just finished Thornton Bane. Um, this is now episode 3. This one's going to run about 30 minutes. So what I'm trying to do is break these down in short enough segments to where... Uh, you can get the meat and potatoes, basically, of what's going on, and not be long and drawn out. And we'll try to highlight each one of them with, uh, you know, a short clip on the Facebook page. She got herself a new toy there, Bane's Break, completed with two stars on that mission. And I think I'm actually going to switch Yoda out here for Ahsoka, just to be able to continue on playing with uh, some of the different characters. I did pre-order pretty much every Star Wars character that was available during launch, so I have all those in-house now. Um, I've also pre-ordered the ones that come out at the end of September. Oops, Sabine is not available. So we'll switch it out with Ahsoka. Now, this is the first time playing her on this level. I do dig the uh, double lightsaber. Of course, she's uh, level one with uh, zero, zero experience, so let's go and see how it is with not having any of her special abilities yet, but one thing about this game I noticed is everybody tends to level up pretty fast. Alright, hold Y to break an enemy block and launch your character into the air. Got it. There you go, look at that. Dual lightsabers, nothing badass. And more badass than that. So we continue to pick up some of our sparks here. Now, I actually haven't used any of these sparks in the toy box yet. Uh, I honestly have not I've done some of the tutorials, but I haven't actually gotten into the toy box. Uh, I understand they have some kind of contest with building, building one um, and saving it. I will eventually check it out. Um, I'm kind of one of those guys who likes to play through campaigns first, even before I do multiplayer. I think we'll give this orb collector challenge a go. So you gotta get 500 to get bronze. Alright, so the blues are with 10. Did I just lose 10 there? Is that what that was? And yellows are 20, blues are 10, greens are 5. Now, I guess you can force jump in this game, but I haven't quite figured that one out yet. It was just, well, I'm not getting too many of them. I don't know how. We are double jumped. Let's get some of these blues up here. We need to shoot for the greens. I think the greens are the. I mean, too many of them. Oh man, I'm wasting time here. But I'm at 325. I need to make sure I get them all. Jump down. I guess I go down here in the center. See what's going on. Bam! It's like she's running. When you're against the clock, it's like she's running in slow motion. I'm sorry, the browns, I don't think I'll be able to get to the silver, though. 1139 seconds ago. And she just looks like she's really running in slow motion. And I don't know if they even respond. Do these things respond? I wonder what that red plus 10 was. Let's see that. Yeah, 18 seconds ago. There's no way I want to hit 1100. It'll be close though, it'll be very close. Let's do it. Get it. Oh man, nope, didn't get it. Looks like I got the bronze though. That's good. I have to come in here and give it another try. I'm sorry. Figure out how to do all that uh, force jumping and all that stuff. Let's see what's next with Ahsoka. There's a lot of, uh... A lot of little missions you can do here. So there's a lot of side missions here outside of the Jedi Temple. I mean, a lot. Um, obviously you have a few that are continue on with the storyline. 
but I'm kind of a completionist in the sense that I like to do all of the quests. I really don't care too much about, you know, 100% achievements. I know I've said this before. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Mercenaries from Count Dooku. Alright, let's do this. Let's take out some mercenaries. Let's see if she can live up to these guys, considering she's not even a level 1. But this guy, that guy's, wow, that guy's pretty intense. Use some of the force here to get him away from me. I don't have any special abilities, I don't have any special attacks. I mean, there's absolutely nothing I can do right now. Boom. Oh, man. He's, uh... This, this guy's pretty intense. Bam, got another one out of there. Whew, man, that little electrical thing is pretty intense. I'm getting them down. This guy is just... Ooh, level 1, alright. Purchase a skill upgrade here. I got her level 1 pretty quick. Bam! Slow motion kill. Oh, well, we got some more back... We got, oh, man, we got backup coming. Yeah, they were kidding toughest for last. But if I had Yoda though, because I got Yoda some some of his special abilities unlocked, I can really take care take him on. But she's just wow, look at that. Two hits. Came couldn't even get up from the last one. I have a feeling Ahsoka's not gonna be able to finish this round. I'm gonna have to pull in pull in somebody else. Maybe Anakin. Yeah, low health. Oh, look at that. Hold Y to break the block. Oh, man. Character's been defeated. Lost some of my sparks, too. Um, bring in Anakin. No Yoda. Yeah, let's do Yoda. I'll just use him to defeat this guy. See, look how, look how quickly Yoda whooped that guy's butt. That was quick. Good job, Yoda. Do some more of these quests. When in doubt, bring Yoda in on the See, look at all these quests right here. So the yellow ones, I believe, are full missions, and the blue ones are side missions. I picked this little guy over. Pretty hard to get these guys when they're pretty much the same size as you. And wait, how do I how do I turn these in? Where do I take them? Oh, oh, I see right there. I got them this little shoot. So yeah, it's hard to catch these guys when they're pretty much the same size as you. They run just as fast. I mean, you really gotta surprise them. Oh, that one's easy. I landed pretty much right on top of him. So 
So you want me to deliver something? Oh, all right. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I want to do that right now. Is this one of the guys? I don't think so. He didn't have an arrow. They're definitely not one of the guys. Hmm. Yellow missions blue versus yellow. Got it. Alright, well. Use the force. God, where am I going? I don't see any more of those little Padawan animals. So if you uh, looking around, kind of. Kind of have to set. I mean, if you absolutely wanted to farm blue sparks, you could get yourself a lot of sparks quick. Um, let me shut my office door here. Because really, all you have to do is just break all those boxes, and you got yourself some blue sparks. All right, we'll move on to another mission. I'm really anxious, really, really, really anxious to get to the, uh, you know, X-wing fights, stuff like that in this uh, in this game. If we get to this point, ah, oh, oh, so close, so close. It's gonna get launched. But. So one of the reasons why I have, um, other than putting videos on Facebook. The only reason, the only way. I can post this game with all the sound and the music and whatnot is actually going to be through uh, Facebook. In order for me to post anything on YouTube, it, for this game in particular, it's going to have to be commentaries. Um, one of the reasons why is, is the very first video that I posted um, had the Star Wars intro song, and when I loaded it, YouTube's content ID match recognized the intro song and I actually had a worldwide block on my account. Um, what a worldwide block does is really take away some of the features of your YouTube channel uh, for periods of up to six months I think. Um, so this kind of moving forward from here on pretty much any video that I do on YouTube is probably going to be a commentary. So what I'm going to do in addition to the commentary is actually upload the video, uh, the non-commentary version to the Facebook page. So that you can see the, let me take care of these droids real quick, see the, how, how badass show it is. Um, oh, there's still one more. So you can watch the non-commentary video on Facebook, but the commentary is going to be on YouTube. And of course I'll link it accordingly. daughter outside my office right now when they come in and play or, or watch this game um, so I'm actually doing the commentary after I play the game so I've already captured the game it's about 30 minutes long and I'm sitting here in my office watching it and mute and doing the commentary and I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of guys do it um, but the reason why I'm doing it this way is because when I play a game I usually I can't exactly concentrate on the actual commentary. Um, I get too wrapped up in what's going on. I don't you know, talk about anything. This is getting boring. I know a lot of people prefer commentary. It's just the two Disney Infinity videos that I posted earlier this week have you know, the, the views to prove it. I haven't really gone into the analytics of the video to see you know, how long people are sticking around to watch it, but I actually have to do the commentaries after I play the game. So the gameplay ends up being double the time. You can take care of this little slug here. Another one's nearby. Let's find out where. Oh, there he is. Ooh, this is going to be hard with Yoda, because he's, he's short. Uh, 
Uh, how am I going to get that? Yoda's way too short. I don't want to switch my character right now. Uh, might have to. Oh, there we go, finally. A little more slug to go. Three out of four. Ooh, yeah, I guess I'm a special ability here. Where the heck did you come from, dude? I'm just here my my business trying to get myself some sparks. <laughs> and look how you go to flips. Oh man, I used my special skill and wasted it. Look, we all know the reality of it is Yoda would have taken care of this guy a very long time ago. We would not be sitting here watching Yoda get Busted around the map, knocked back. Finish getting my sparks. What kind of skills I can buy? Always force. Yeah, I go with the force. Increase the rate at which your special meter fills with power. Increase the damage caused by Yoda Master's motion attack. I've only got two skill points. What can I buy? Adds a charge, special meter when filled. Yeah, let's go ahead and purchase this one here. A couple more points. Let's see the other one. That's a charge special meter when filled. Yep. Oh, look at that. I need nine. Nine attacks. Nine of his special attacks. That's pretty awesome. Now, do I have one more slug? Yeah, I'm sure do. Got a little bit distracted there. Had to kill some dudes. No biggie. I took care of it. Ugh, you don't have too short. Too short. No, I'm working on it. I haven't removed your pest yet. Yoda's just... Man. I think I'm going to switch him out. And we're back with Anakin. You see, there you go. Jump a lot higher. Uh, look, oh, that's good news. You can switch out characters in the middle of even the side quests, and you're fine. Which I haven't purchased any of uh, Anakin's special abilities yet. I need to do that. Ah. There we got it. This guy, he's down there below me. Oof. Oh, so, oof, okay. Well, that was easier just to come up the other side. <sighs> Bam. You appear to remove them all. That should suffice for now. There's more still to be done. Return when you're ready. Boom. Only one star on that one. You can uh, replay missions, which is pretty pretty awesome. I haven't done it yet, and I've just been worried about trying to get through all the missions. Um, but you can replay them. Let's go ahead and force ability. Yeah, I can rip some portion of the ground and throws that an enemy. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Bam! Special ability. Throw them. Hmm. He does nothing. And 
making runs kind of funny, don't you? Creatures I gotta collect. Maybe I'll go do some different quests then. The Tuka Cats. Not one of them either, is it? Looks like a little... <laughs> Just got to throw him into the rides, huh? There you go, buddy. Take a ride. Just got to throw him into each one of these rides, huh? Fishing declared this amusement to be sufficiently exciting. Why, thank you. So you literally get something for your toy box for every single mission that you complete. I think I'm definitely going to have to get in the toy box here soon. Boom, boom. Got another mission from this guy? Let's check it out. It appears that a family of baby banthas has escaped from the cargo ship and is loose near the Jedi Temple. You must round them up before they cause havoc. Pick up those baby banthas and put them back. Got it. Pick them up. Yeah, so if you hear any background noise, that's just me here in my office doing my thing. Seems fair enough. Let's throw them in here. There's a few of them running around here. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. Where are my panthers? Well, are they wrecking havoc? I don't know if they're wrecking havoc. Uh, not that it matters because, you know, Anakin's a Jedi, but I bet these guys are pretty heavy. Are you serious right now? Oh, 
Okay, every time. Let's, let's kill some more of these droids. Every single time. Oh, hop on, buddy. That would appear to be the Mother Bantha. Yep, she's pretty big Bantha. Let's go take care of her. I'm riding a Bantha. Riding a Bantha today. Um, how do I get her in there? I can't pick her up, can I? Nope. Just jump into it, maybe. Ugh, what is going on? It appears that a family bit. Oh, no, I'm still working on the mission. Jump. Wow, look at that. Oh, the Bantha Stampede is the last thing any of us wanted. Yeah, man. Let's get another ship. Looks exactly like the one that sent bad guys in to attack me. Goodbye, Mama Bantha. And Baby Banthas. We'll see you later. And we're back with Anakin. Boom. And I only got one star, but I get a new toy. So... I uh, leveled up. Look at him, he's ready. We're going to end here very shortly. Click some sparks before I go. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, get started on the episode 4 commentary. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is make the commentaries a little shorter. Um, maybe around 20 to 25 minutes, keep it under 30 minutes. I'd, like, I'd really like to see it around 20, uh, if possible. Um, no more than 30 at the most. That'll give me enough time you know, in order to commentate you know, 60 minutes of stuff. I, I, I gotta have a lot of time. Uh, I do work, I do have kids, I don't have time to sit here for 60 minutes and commentate, so I'm gonna try to break this down into 20 minute segments. Um, I'll be able, I believe I'll be able to do a lot more commentating um, more easily more effectively, a little bit faster. I can literally go play this game for an hour in the evening and then have two more, or three, three commentaries right there, 20 minutes each. Man, this takes a minute to load. Uh, this game does have some pretty slow loading times. Um, especially when you're going from like the toy box to the actual game some pretty slow loading times. And we're almost done here. We're almost to the end. Let's see what this guy's got right here. Yeah, not right now. I don't want to enter the training area. I need no training right now. Combat tutorial. Nope. Let's go up and see the Jedi Council. Is there anything I need to do up here? I don't think this is where I need to go. All right, I think I'm gonna come in here and we'll we'll pause the game and we'll see you on episode four. Don't forget to like and comment.